Howdy doody. My name is Sith Holocron, and I do nothing really apart from make new decks. And, well, that's it, really. I'm from the Dongers of Rintera. We're a U group of Legends of Rintera players. We have Discord, we have Leagues, we have the Donger Cup, where for a free entry you can win 50 euros, and that's in just under a week. You sign up on Battlefy, and off you go. And this could actually be the deck that could win it, because I'd probably take this deck and, well, maybe not win, but I'll go damn close. This is a whole new little story about a young lady who used to run the meta. Her name is Lux. Very sadly, Lux's fall has been amazing. So her and Karma used to go around terrorising every deck going. And now she's very rarely seen, which is a real shame, as she starts the game with Barrier. And then if you do six amount of damage, she gets this amazing, amazing bow of um, electrical beamed lightsaber light and destroys things for... I miss Lux. Too long, don't read, skip to this bit. Lux is back, baby. Lux is back. Let's show you the deck I've just made. I want to make Lux viable again. Uh, I love Demacia and Shadow Wilds are probably my two favourite decks. One's because one's dead easy to curve out. The second is because most of the champions in Demacia are cool and poor old Luxy girl is not really doing what she needs to be doing right now. Like, she's just not. But, you know, when you can get one of these uh, for free to deal four to an enemy, that's pretty good. So, she's the basis of the deck. And then I thought, well, if we're doing, like, magic damage and stuff to people, who who's a really good person for her to be with? So, you know, she's been with Heimer, and she was obviously with Karma, because Karma Lux was an amazing deck. And the only thing I can think of instantaneously was match her up with this dude. Which is Swine, because he loves non-combat damage. That's pretty good. And Swain at the minute is doing really well for our streamer, I'm So Humble. Uh, he has him teamed up with Twisted Fate. So Twisted Fate's doing his ones across the board, and that all helps, and his Fox, and all that kind of carry on. But I want to make a different type of deck, because that deck's done. That doesn't interest me. So here's our deck. Our deck starts with a Mage Seeker. So he's a last breath unit, and I made a budget deck, the three best bu budget decks, in my opinion, into the meta. They're all championless, and I, one of them is a Shadowwise uh, deck uh, that's uh, pretty much all last breath. And this is the last breath, so it means that once he dies, he's going to create and hand a six-cost spell from a region other than Demacia. Well, hello, because uh, Lux needs to do a six-plus of mana spells to get her shooty thing that's an automatic three of and then rapidly becoming my one of my favorite things if i've got noxus is the house spider so for two mana you get a two two and a one one um i've went into how mana efficient that is in many many videos so i'm not going to go over it again and then obviously we are in need of spells so uh, single combat here is fantastic uh, especially when you go down uh, through the deck and see what we've actually got uh, power wise this deck is fantastic to level swine um it's it's just real real good um speaking of leveling up swine um i very rarely put calling strike in but in this deck i think it makes tons of sense uh, and it makes tons of sense to actually go the whole hog and have a full set um kill a unit with three or less power really good early doors really good for leveling swine <coughs> <coughs> pardon me and um really good for uh helping lux get her final spark nothing wrong with this at all and again a card that i would have put in maybe is only a one or a two of but in this specific deck it's definitely a three deal two to an enemy and one to the enemy nexus now this card is really 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 good it's like it's fantastically good uh, but most of the spells from noxus are very aggro, deal damage, that is their whole premise. They want to hurt things as much as possible. So that is why this is in 
as well. So one of these and one of these, there's your final spark. Noxian Guillotine is just a one of, and there's a very good reason why. And it was a card that I put in initially as a three of, and then found that in testing, it was clunking up my hand and I wanted to play the fleeting. So if you kill a damaged unit, um, which is fantastic, uh, and there's just one of them and it's for deep uh, because you need to get that Nautilus off the board. You only need the one. But if you get a fleeting and you've got enough mana, and by the time that Nautilus has come out, you're going to have enough mana and probably a few of those sea monsters all dead. This is probably the best anti-deep deck I've built because he is just awesome. Swain is just fantastic. That's why it's a one-off. So hold on to it if you're playing with deep. If you're up against an endure deck, you know, throw something out into it. If he attacks with it, block with it, do this and just kill it. Just kill it. It gives you an extra round to see if you can actually win the game. It's a brilliant card, but no more than one, as it automatically recreates ones that will disappear at the end of the round. Use it wisely. Use it when you've got the mana to clear their board to allow you to win. And then we've got the Vanguard Sergeant, which creates a spell, which costs six and is slow, called Ford Demacia. We'll show you what that is which is this one, which gives all allies plus three, plus three for the round. Game Ender. Yes, it is. It's a Game Ender. It's a very good Game Ender, actually, if you want the truth. And my webcam has just fallen. Lovely job. There we go. That's much better. So back to the deck. Uh, and he's pretty seriously good as it is anyway. He's a 3-3. Three, three. He's a solid unit. He's good in attack and he's good in defense. He's probably one of your first units that will come down. That is very good. And as you can see, even though we've got uh, 16 things here, we're still on the Demacia route, really. Um, Demacia into this, into this, into the Grizzle Ranger, who is just an amazing card. One of the best four drops, uh, certainly in Demacia. Probably one of the top four drops in the entire game. Uh, again, a last breath, so we're keeping this little synergy going, and he turns into a Loyal Badger Bar, which is a 3-4, and he's just really, really good. So the unit actually, once you play him, doesn't die until it dies twice, which is fantastic. And then we are going to the Concerted Strike. A card I really quite like, but it's too costly, so we are going for uh, two of them. Uh, you pick an enemy and two allies strike it. Again, it's fantastic for getting rid of horrible things that you want dead. Uh, really good against things like level Callistas, level Threshes, um, leveled up Twist of Fates, leveled up Ezreals. Really, really, really good. Even if you only have a House Spider and the Spider, those two kill him. That's really good. Uh, if he's leveled up, then something slightly better will obviously come out. And uh, easily the best five drop in Demacia. Probably one of the very best five drops across the board. Uh, we will lose units. Uh, we will lose spiders. We will lose uh, the Grizzle Ranger. And if you've got five, you put him down and he automatically comes with Lifesteal and Tough 5-5. Five, five. It's a brilliant unit. It's a fantastic unit, really, to be honest. And um, that's why there's three of them. And in fact, everything in here, apart from the final spell, are all threes of. The next two, then, are Swain. They deal 12 non-combat damage to level up, and then he is almost unstoppable. But not quite. He needs another card to be unstoppable. But never fear. It's in this deck. And then Lock's obviously the girl that we want to put back onto the meta map because she is great. And the fact that she comes down with a barrier right at the start is fantastic. And here is her card. So Remembrance is a slow spell. Kind of let these things go. I have played this deck where I got bricked and on turn three this came out. Well on turn three you've got three normal mana and three spell mana. You cast this and you're getting a unit. Um a five cost follower from Demacia, which means you can get the Moose, which is a scout, five five. You can get a whole load of really good things. You can even get a Radiant Guardian, because all of these cost five mana in Demacia. And then Swain's card. You, know, you get these two down, boy, oh, this game is over. This game is so over. It immediately, the next round that you've got it, whether it's still alive or not, it does one to the enemy nexus three times. I mean, it can end the game if you get it down to three. You know it, unless they can kill it, 
before the end of the round you've just won most people don't even do that they just surrender because they're kind of nice and the last one the last one i think is a hilarious addition we're put in one on yielding spirit just the one and i was going to put in something else but i decided that if we can literally make swain or lux or the radiant guardian completely unkillable and you can do that in every deck apart from Demacia. Because these units, you know, that's a five, that's a six, that's a five. That takes an awful lot to kill it. So it's probably going to be a, a full manned thermal beam. And you end up going, okay, I've wasted eight mana, but they have wasted their entire eight mana as well. So it's like a bit of a stalemate round. But if it goes in, yeah, golden. You are just absolutely golden for the entire round. The uh, deck code is in the pinned comments. Come and join us at the Donners of Ringterra uh, Discord. It is so much fun. Um, so many people are joining at the minute because of this Donners Cup where you can win 50 euros. It's a double elimination. Even if you lose your first game, you're still in with a chance of, of uh, making it. So essentially, the winner of the winner's bracket goes to the final. And the winner of the loser's bracket goes to the final and they play off a best of three for 50 euros that'll be paypal to you at the end of the tournament my name is sith holocron thank you very much for watching so like and subscribe that really really helps and uh until the next one dongers out <laughs>